Hey, watch me take somebody to school. Now this is not an angry rant, this is really funny, because I think the Pentax people are really pretty normal. I mean, they're not like a lickers. They're not Sony fanboys, because those people suck. Um, anyway, <laughs> apparently some people over on the Pentax forums, and I think Pentax people are pretty normal. You know, obviously I don't look very normal. They act like I just discovered what the hell a Takumar lens was, or like what a good old mid-1960s, um, early 1970s Pentax lens is. Now, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take those Pentax people and I'm going to take them to school, okay? Now, <clears throat> now this is me over 20 years ago working in one photo store that was run and owned by George Militza Paspalakis. Here's me holding a camera. Look, I had hair in that picture, okay? Um, now, this was a pretty small camera store. Then I worked at Beach Photo and Video, where I sold more Pentax lenses than God. I had more Pentax and Tacomore lenses passed through my fingers than everybody over in the Pentax forum combined. It's like if you take all those people collectively and all their Pentax Tacomore lenses, I sold more and had more passed through my hands than all of them put together. Back in photography school, I had a pair of six, seven Pentaxes, and I had about nine lenses. And man, I rocked that camera pretty good. Actually, I rocked it really good. And it was a big old clunky camera. It was big old six, seven Pentax lens. And you pull that shutter and you go, pachunk, pachunk. <laughs> in fact, I have, of course, a pile of negatives in the basement. This is from my six, seven Pentax. This is actually of some of my cave diving gear. I hope you can see it. This is at, what, what speed is this? I can't see, I'm getting old. It's some Riala. Anyway, these negatives, these 6-7 negatives, are from my 6-7 Pentax. This is me taking pictures of cave diving equipment with my 6-7 Pentaxes. So, let me, let me tell you folks over at the Pentax forum something, y'all, okay? <clears throat> I did not just discover Pentax lenses, girlfriend, okay? Oh my! No. Uh, <clears throat> I got, I've known about a good old 1960s version era Takomar lenses. I know them pretty good. And just because I've been talking about Nikon and Fuji a lot, nah, that don't mean that I don't know me some Pentax. I, I do know me some Pentax, girlfriend. Oh yeah. Not only that, I've got some secret lenses coming up. Now, they're not secrets to you people on the Pentax forum, but they are secrets to most people. And I'm going to open up the world to some really neat old lenses. Some of which are some Pentax lenses. I've already mentioned the 50mm 1.4. And by the way, the folks of you that were saying that I said that, uh, you you guys don't have a, a Geiger counter, okay? Have you ever taken a 50mm 1.4? Actually, it is the rear three elements. Now, the uh, third to last is a doublet that is cemented together. And there's another guy on a website that actually proved this as well. The rear three elements of the Pentax Takomar, the Super Takomar, uh, as well as the SMC Takomar, those are the thoriated radioactive elements. So there are three of them in the 50mm 1.4. Not just one, but three. One, two, meow. Three. So... <clears throat> I just wanted to point out, now this is not being angry, I, I think the Pentax people are pretty normal, but they were like uh, half chuckling at me like, I, I just done discovered a neat old lens. He's like, oh my god, the angry photographer, he has done discovered a neat lens he's talking about. No, this is me from 20 years ago and after I left this place, because <clears throat> the people realized uh, over at Beach Photo and Video how smart I was and they done hired me. And uh, I sold a lot of lenses, a lot of lenses. Not only there, um, but other places as well. I had a lot of Takamar. Yeah, I know me some Pentax lenses. I don't really talk about Pentax. Um, I converted a lot of people in photography school to purchase that gigantic monolithic beast, the 6-7 Pentax, which I got some of my... Ne I got a lot of 6-7 uh, uh, Pentax uh, uh, negatives uh, in the basement um, and archival sleeves of all sorts of stuff I I could print out some of these again man there's some cave diving gear 
on these. Man, this takes me back. This is some of my cave diving equipment. I remember taking... I can't believe I, I can remember taking that with my 6, 7 Pentax. I, I had a roommate when I went to photography school, and he always made fun of my 6, 7 Pentax. He'd go, damn, that camera's loud. Because you pull back that shirt and go, chuklunk, chuklunk. <laughs> Those big, monstrous Takamar lenses for that 6, 7, um, uh, for that uh, 6, 7 camera. I had me lots and lots and lots of, uh, uh, 220 and 120 stuff uh, in a baggie in the refrigerator. Yeah. Yeah, so this is to all those folks. I'm giving a shout out to the peeps on the Pentax forum, and I'm going, no girlfriend, no girlfriend, no girlfriend. Um, I know me some Pentax lenses. I ain't just done discovered them. Yeah, I know I said the word ain't. You see, that is me uh, 20 years ago. A lord and master of one of my photography stores. There was the. I took a picture of myself. I was on board. So I took a picture. I was. I loved wearing silk shirts back then. Look, I actually had hair. Look at all those freaky ads hanging. Those old Canon Forturas and. Look at all the film on the wall. There's this wall where we'd keep all the film, and I was on, constantly looking for freaky film on there for the photography students. So, yeah, yeah, boys and girls at the Pentax forum, uh, the fat, bald, tattooed boy. <clears throat> I done discovered Pentax uh, lenses and Takamars like well over 20 years ago. So don't don't you be acting like uh, I just uh, figured out what a Pentax lens is and how great they are. And the answer to that one is, uh, <clears throat> as I show you these, uh, these uh, twenty-year-old uh, color negatives, y'all. The answer to that is uh, no, uh, most indeedly no. <laughs> this was not being hateful. Actually, I like the people at the Pentax forum. They're kind of normal. The people that I don't like... No, there's plenty of people like Ted Vieira shoots a Leica. You know, I think he's the coolest cat on YouTube. You know, he's got a Leica. I owned a couple of Leicas, you know. Obviously, a camera doesn't make somebody... You look kind of like, you know, a BMW driver. And I used to have a BMW. I swear when I owned a BMW, I drove like an asshole. And every time I see someone else in the road with a BMW, they drive like assholes. It's kind of the same thing. It's like people that own Leicas and rangefinder people. Uh, they're, they're they're just you know not all of them, you know. It's just like it's way too. It's like if someone's driving a BMW, there's a high chance that they are an asshole, and it's kind of the same thing with Leica. Uh, the Sony people are a different variety thereof. They are kind of like uh, the measure baiting button sniffers. Fan boy, the Pentax people are okay. They are a wee bit too defensive though of their Pentax stuff. Now, <clears throat> Pentax did take a nosedive right about in the mid-70s, and <whistles> bam, never recovered. You know, uh, I know that the Pentax people think that, like, Pentax is going to be resurrected from the grave, but there ain't a snowball's chance in hell of that. No, indeed, they're not. Given Fuji and Nikon and Canon, no, Pentax, I'm afraid, does not have a snowflake chance in hell. No, 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 no. If they had quality, like they made back in the 1960s, the mid-1960s, which ain't never going to happen again, that is one train that has left the station. If that were the case, Pentax would have a chance. People would be like, oh my god, this quality is incredible. That sort of quality is never, ever, ever going to come again. Never. Never. Bye. <laughs>